that we all deserve. He drank the torture that we all deserve. But as for Jesus the third day, the third day he rose again, proving to mankind that he is who he says he is. When Jesus said, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up, Jesus rose from the dead and was seen by 500 brethren at once. That's more than us here in the city centre right now saw the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ. But what you need to know is this day that God is love, that God loves you. He sees your pains, he sees your struggles, he sees what you're going through in this life. He sees your need for acceptance, your need for companionship, your need for fellowship, true fellowship. And he's calling you all today, wherever you are, whether you're an atheist, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a Hindu, whether you're a Sikh, wherever you're a Jehovah's Witness, he's calling you today and he's saying, listen to me, I will be your father and you will be my son. He's saying, I will be your Lord and I will take care of you. Jesus says these words, him who comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. Him who comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. And my friends, if we come to Jesus, the true Jesus, the real Jesus, the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, not the Jesus that man has made up, not the Jesus that man has made in the imagination of his heart, because he wanted Jesus to be something other than he truly was. But no, my friends, the true Jesus Christ, the living God, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the Almighty, the Almighty. Come to Jesus, my friends. He is the perfect representation of the Father. If you want to know what God the Father is like, look at God the Son.